If you told friends you're dining in Paris tonight before zipping over to California, they'd be forgiven for thinking you're on a world tour. In fact, you'd be in Zhengzhou in central China. The city is known as one of the eight ancient capitals in China. It served as the capital city of many dynasties over thousands of years. But in recent years, there's been an explosion in foreign names here. The local police station even calls itself the Arcadia Police Station in Zhengzhou. Because Arcadia is the name of the community, so I don't think it has any problem. It's a new trend. It also mirrors the globalization that happens every day. But some locals disagree. I think it's better to use Chinese names because we are Chinese and we should respect our culture. Residential communities have also fallen victim to the trend, with Manhattan and Venice also becoming popular. While most understand it's all part of a savvy business stunt, the names baffle some locals. In order to curb the explosion, the local government has issued a draft regulation outlawing the use of foreign names when branding new developments in Henan province. Officials say many street names have been passed down through the centuries. Diao Jin Yong, deputy director of the city's civil affairs bureau, says the proposed measure aims to maintain this history. It's a historical problem. Some of our streets have gained the names since the Tang Dynasty and symbolize the history of the city. We should not randomly change names simply to attract more attention. Frequent changes of street names will also lead to chaos in transportation and cultural heritage. Authorities will survey public opinion on the proposed move over the next two weeks, but some say it's a step too far. I don't think it's good to simply ban the use of foreign names. It's quite natural that different cultural elements fuse with each other, and the regulation is too simple. It won't do much to help in maintaining cultural heritage.